everyone. Welcome to Thursday Thoughts. And today I have thoughts about training. The reason why is because we are getting so much feedback from bakeries saying that we don't have enough people. We're out of ingredients. We need to train the new people. We don't have enough people. We don't have ingredients. How do we learn how to develop and pivot with the limited shortage in ingredients? Okay. Um, so my thoughts today is, yes, we are seeing the minimum wage go up in bakeries because of this labor shortage. And uh, while we can fill the positions of the oven, of the packaging room, the slicing area, it is really difficult to fulfill positions in the mixing and operation side of things. And um, while that is your challenge, I'm thinking, well, maybe Bigopedia can help you out here. And that is offer um, online training quickly for these people who need to hit the floor running, right? They need to understand what's flower quality. They need to understand what's what's the function between water, flour, yeast, um, and fermentation. You know, they need quick training uh, modules that we have, that we now sell on Bakerpedia for $150 per seminar. And we've been selling these. So it goes to show you um, how popular they are. Um, they only require about 25 to 35 minutes of your staff's time. And um, we have four modules so far. So like two hours of intense learning and understanding what flour and dough, fermentation, and different ingredients are. Okay. So just to let you get a sneak peek, um, this is our intro video for our bread module four. So let's see what it looks like. Baker certified minor ingredients want to learn more about minor ingredients though used at low levels minor ingredients have effects on the feel and handling of dough understanding ingredients like sugar dough conditioners eggs fiber and flavors will help you master the production of wheat based bread watch an online presentation and take a test for your certificate Get Baker certified. Shop our courses today. All right, so get Baker certified for understanding what salt does, what sugar does, what dough conditioners are, do. The reason why I say that is because these ingredients are used in such small dosage that it affects a big part of your dough. Okay. And sometimes dough conditioners can be so expensive. If you put someone in that position to dose it at 1% and it keeps creeping up to 2%, they don't know what they're doing. Okay. So you need to like really make sure that they understand what they're working with. And this is what the module is for. So let's take a few steps back and understand, Hey, Salt is simple to understand, right? So what is its function of, of salt? What is this function of salt and dose? So here is the little slice of our module in teaching. Salt also affects the rate of fermentation. High salt levels increases osmotic pressure, prohibiting proper movement of molecules for fermentation. It slows down fermentation. Therefore, as salt increases, fermentation time increases. Salt can aid in shelf life by prohibiting harmful or excessive bacteria. Salt is a natural occurring compound. It is made of a sodium base and chloride acid that reacts and becomes neutral. It can be obtained from mining, extracted from brines, or evaporated from concentrated bodies of water. Table salt, or sea salt, is chemically known as sodium chloride. The typical usage level of salt in a formula starts at 2% in bread. Most baked goods can vary based on water source, 
altitude, and seasonal temperatures. Since salt toughens up dough, you can use a delayed salt method. This method sometimes delays salt addition up to 70% of the mixing time. It reduces stress on mixers, extending the life of a mixer, but it may also cause operator error when the mixer operator may accidentally omit the salt. All right, as you can see, salt is not really just for flavor, okay? Salt has a very important function in, um, in dough and bread formulations. And sometimes in the middle of summer, when your doughs get above um, 80 to 90, yes, and it sometimes does that, if it gets above that, you can actually utilize salt at a further delay in the dough to reduce the dough temperature, okay? So this is a tool um, you can use when your dough temperatures get out of hand, all right? You're like, what's wrong with my dough temperatures getting out of hand, Lynn? Well, if it gets out of hand, then you're going to have volumetric displacement at the dividers. You're going to have an extra person setting, standing at the dividers, just doing med, doing the manipulations in uh, dough weights all day. So even though that doesn't cost you an ingredient, it costs you in labor. Okay, not only that, you use more yeast, you use more dough conditioners, you use more... Um, uh, um, oxidizers to to be able to maintain and contain that high temperature all right so it comes back to training training is key understanding and manipulating salt is key to your operations because it helps cut cost this way all right so i hope today's um short little session on salt helps you understand what you need to do to train um, the people that have the direct effect and touch the dough okay that's so important in terms of maintaining cost all right so you know where to buy this it's bakerpedia.com our academy page and it's only 150 dollars per course all right I hope this finds you well and um, keep in tune with what we have. We're going to launch something new in the coming weeks. All right. Till then, bakers. Have a great time baking and you can you can do this. You can do this through all the pitfalls of the supply chain. All right. I know you can. Bye. <laughs>